All right, so we're out on the range today uh, to do a special request video, and I'm more than up for doing those. So if you have something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below, and I'll and I'll do my best to do that for you. But today we're out here to do a video on the Kettenberg pistol again. Now, when I was out the other day and I shot this brass barrel 60 caliber with an original flint uh, lock from uh, the period, late 1700s, original front French lock made by Eric Kettenberg, um, I shot round balls. So, buddy of mine, good buddy on the muzzle loading forum muzzleloading.com if you're not a member over there go check them out great resource for all things black powder um, traditional black powder so flint locks percussion caps not not in lines um, so anyway my good buddy sky chief saw the the video on this and said hey i sure would like to see this thing shoot shot at a turkey head target and he's a um he develops, he's developed the, the Sky Chief load um, that ever, that, that's so famous that you guys need to go check out. Um, and so just out of curiosity, he said, boy, it'd be neat to see that with some shot and on a turkey head target, say 10 yards. So I think what I'll do today is do kind of five yards, 10 yards, maybe even stretch out something crazy and see if we even hit the target. Hopefully I don't hit my GoPro, you know, five feet uh, to the left of the target there. Um, but let's... Uh, Let's take a shot at some shot. Let's take a shot at some shot in the little pistol and just see what it wants to do. So let's get right on it. So here we go. We're all dressed up for shooting the, uh, the Jack Brooks trade gun. So I've got sort of my trade gun gear on. This is a Southern uh, Type G Carolina gun. So you've got the Southern banded horn. Uh, more of an early what because uh, the carolina gun was early so you got the early uh, lyman type bag some sort of native uh, type straps my shot pouch so i'll do a video later on that on that gun probably you'll probably see saturday but for now we're going to do this little video so let's pull her to half cock i like to use 25 grains it's brass barrel you know you don't want to put 100 grains in there it's naval brass, so it's not pure brass, but uh, still don't want to do that. So we're going to put 2F, 25 grains. Right down the hatch. And let's see, what are we gonna put for wadding in this thing? Let's use uh, let's use some tow. So we'll go tow and right down the hatch on top of the powder, on top of 25 grains. We'll run some tow down. And you'll remember if you're new, shooting shot. You put your powder down, something to separate the powder from the shot. Then you put your shot down, and then you put something to hold the shot. You know, you put the muzzle down, you don't want it all rolling out. So, so there's that. <clears throat> and now we'll get our number five turkey shot. And a pistol is always a handful. And I've got this uh, this little 19th century shot measure sands the handle set to one ounce, which is the smallest charge. So I'm going to set it about three quarters to seven eighths. Just fill it up about that much. Because you don't need to load it too hard, too heavy. And we'll put the toe right down on top. Tamp it down real good. So we're at half cock. So 
If you remember from that last video, it's a tiny little lock. I mean, it's literally three inches long. It's a tiny lock and it holds barely a thimble full of powder. Well, not even a thimble full, just like a eighth of a teaspoon or something. It's super small. It's probably, the pan's probably uh, half the size, 40% the size of a normal uh, pan. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start at five yards. I'll walk up here to five yards. We'll take a shot at the turkey target and see what it does. So, up here, high, but that's one in the spine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One in the skull, one in the spine. So, from five yards, would have been lethal. Wasn't a whole lot, and I missed high, because no sights is just hard to, hard to know. Um, and I've only shot this five or six times. But we did get one in the spinal cord, one in the skull for a total of five shots in the, um, in the neck and head of the turkey. So not too bad. So now we'll go ahead and do one at 10 yards, which is just in front of this line. This is a, uh, my pistol line, shooting pistol to steal targets. 10 yards is a safe distance. So I've got my line set at 11. So. I'll step right in front of the line on the next next shot and uh, we'll take a shot from 10 yards and see if we hit anything at all. All right, so we had a lethal shot and that may have been luck at five yards on a turkey with the uh, Eric Kettenberg pistol, but let's see what we do from 10 yards. So we'll load this thing up again. Tamp it down nice and good. And we'll take a shot at 10 yards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six on the target. So six on the target, only one in the neck, but I still hit high. So I need to aim down to where the turkey's body's gonna be. So we'll, we'll try this one more time. All right, let's try it again. All right, much better. So one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five.
All right, so that was much better. So I aimed at the, uh, the turkey's body, just full on the body, a foot down below the, uh, the paper, six, eight inches below the paper. And we got 22 shot on target, on paper. And we got, what was it, six on uh, in the neck and head. So let me go double check that. So we got five hits on the turkey from the neck up. One would have been lethal through the juggler vein, but he would have taken off. So none in the spine, but 22 on paper, five uh, actually hitting the turkey in the neck or head. And he'd uh, flopped around and we'd have had to dispatch him ourselves, or he'd uh, take off running and bled out. So, but 10 yards with a little pistol and you're actually getting shot on the turkey, decent number of shot. So, I mean, there would have been another 10 in the body, which you really wouldn't have wanted, but they would have, they would have got him. So he may have gone down, he may have gone down. But with 25 grains, body feathers may have caught him. Uh, the, the body feathers may have caught that shot, but he'd have definitely died, but he may have taken off and you may not have found him. So there you go, Eric Kettenberg, loaded with shot, 60 caliber, 10 yards. Nah, you know, you're not gonna wanna do it, but if you if your gun ran off and you're sitting in the blind and it comes within 10 yards of you that's a judgment call you'll have to make but you don't want to hunt turkey with that but that's what it did six on uh, five on uh, target and 20 22 i think on paper so not too bad we'll see you next time thanks guys